part of the Press Play Podcast Network. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. This is Jason J. Lewis, the voice of Superman on Justice League Action. This is Mark Wayne, writer of Superman Worldwide. And you're listening to The Krypton Report. Welcome back for this exciting conclusion of Adam Man vs. Superman. This is the part of the podcast where Tyler here talks to himself because we're going through the serials. Now, chapter 11 is entitled Luther's Strategy. And ironically, my dog tore up my notes on this one. And I apologize. And... If you've been listening to this podcast, you realize, you get the gist of it. Luther does something. Superman goes to save the day. He saves the day. Jimmy and Lois get in trouble. Superman goes to save them. Chapter ends. Cliffhanger next week. So sadly, we jump to chapter 12. Adam Man strikes. This is the one where we actually find out that Luthor is Adam Man. He gets revealed, and as he gets to the public... Perry tries to get the team on an on assignment to track down to get proof, but they all know that Adam Man is Luthor. And they try to write it up in the paper and prove it to everyone to bring down his ongoing uh, corrupt television studio. And to really let people know So, it ends with Luther basically being angered and that he's going to fire his death ray. Chapter 13, Adam Man's Flying Saucer. He begins by using his ray to attack the Daily Planet. The offices are being heated up and the ray is then fired directly at Superman. Um, We see damages to trucks, cars, and everything possible. As Superman then decides to fly up, use his X-ray vision, but it'd be a different vision, to see the reactor beam, to follow the beam to its source. The beam is visible. So Superman goes flying. And what happens is he finds a flying saucer that Lex has that he's utilized because Lex is still trying to fake the public that he is not. Adam Man. And I said Lex, and I apologize, it's Luthor. I get so used to saying them interchangeably to not repeat myself with the exact same words. And that's the end of chapter 13. Chapter 14, Rocket of Vengeance. Uh, As the last one, when seeing the flying saucer, the flying saucer is coming towards them. Clark and Lois are in a plane. Lois passes out. Clark then goes out the back of the plane. And flies out, saves the plane as Superman. And we have some great animation. Uh, this actually, this, I didn't touch on it earlier, but they start using a different angle of the animation where it's almost like Superman's flying towards you as the camera. It turns feet first and then it matches the way he lands from the opposite reverse angle. So it's pretty neat. Um, Superman. Smashes the flying saucer, saves the airplane, lands it, then turns back into Clark to wake up Lois. Luthor is continuing to attack the Daily Planet. Uh, and we find that he's building a spaceship. And he is the greatest scientist in the world and that all of his um, projects will be beamed aboard that ship. So when he decides to destroy... Uh, the Earth, if he chooses, because he has a machine that can make earthquakes and the tides change and everything. Everything he has will be safe in the spaceship. He launches the rocket into orbit and will teleport himself up there later using his atomic projector. We get reuse footage of the locations as Superman arrives and they fire a missile at him. 
He catches the rocket and throws it back towards the entrance of the cave. Um, then Luthor fires a rocket at Metropolis. And Superman goes to it and is sitting on top of it as the rocket is flying towards Metropolis. Chapter 15. Superman saves the universe. The epic conclusion to Adam Man versus Superman. A battle of wits or brawn? That's what I ask you, dear listeners. Where does this fall? Because Superman takes the bomb into the river. And we found out there is synthetic kryptonite in it that weakens him. And that meanwhile back at the cave, Luther is talking as he's preparing to leave. And we find that his thugs have brought in Lois. Luther, um, I apologize, the thugs have Jimmy. Luther used a coin that he had sent to Lois as a gift under a different name to bring her to him. L- Lois and Luther get into an argument together. She calls that he's playing Noah's Ark and that she, and he says that she will be the mother and the woman on a new earth if he chooses to. And he re- reveals much of his plan to her. Um, and Superman goes um, to the outside of the cave where police have him nearby this is one of those scenes where you're just kind of like okay this is weird but he says follow me to the cave and Superman walks to the opening of the cave with the two police officers uh, he goes in, tearing apart the lab. Uh, we have short waves of energy that are being fired from the cave, trying to defend itself. Luthor and Lois are beamed up. And Superman sees this through his uh, vision. And Superman flies up, rescues Lois. Blows up the space rocket, gets Luthor. Luthor goes to jail. It ends in Perry's office with Lu- with Lois drawing on a paper that putting, you know, this Superman look and drawing glasses on it. And Lois thanks Clark for, and is Superman, but we're not sure as we hit the end. It's really funny because the conclusion is not that exciting. It's It just feels like another episode that just throws on the end at the end of the episode. Um, the, revel, the, the way it ends each time feels different because it's left on a cliffhanger. And yeah, this kind of – it doesn't end on a cliffhanger. But it just doesn't leave you satisfied. I don't know. Maybe if I was a kid back then and I saw this, I'd be super excited. And I probably would be. Um, but I, I don't know. It's it's a very sticky kind of feeling of how do I feel about these. In one hand, I respect it for what it was, the time, and what they were trying to do, the storytelling style. Because if you haven't heard yet, if you go back... This was 1950. If you go back, I did a review in July of Superman and the Mole Men, which was 1951, following year, because these serials came at the last end of the idea of a serial, where now we're just going to do features. And Superman and the Mole Men was pitched to Kirk Allen. He he wanted too much money, so they hired George Reeves. And it feels weird. Just in general, and I'm not going to go into the whole detail, but I wonder had it been Kirk Allen if it would have felt different. Um, but it's interesting because 1950, 51, 52 is back to back to back Superman projects from the serial to the Moleman movie to the adventures of Superman on TV. So that's where I'm going to leave it. It's been kind of fun just kind of going through these. Hope you guys have enjoyed it or at least gotten more of an idea of what the serials are and how they work. 
And remember. We just want to say, if you've enjoyed this podcast, please check out other podcasts on the Press Play Podcast Network. Remember to check out Krypton Report on all social media platforms. Go to linktree.com slash Krypton Report. you find all of our information right there. If you want to keep Krypton from exploding, join our $1 a month Patreon. That's right. For $1 a month, you'll get extra special content that you don't get on the main show, like movie commentaries and whatever else comes out of our mouths. So check it out, patreon.com slash Krypton Report. If you are like Tyler and James and can't get enough super talk, check out these other podcasts. Digging for Kryptonite, Supergirl Radio, The Last Sons of Krypton, The Superboy Legacy Podcast, All-Star Superfans, Superman the Animated Podcast, The Aspiring Kryptonians, Always Hold On to Smallville, Caped Wonder, The Geek of Steel, and Truth, Justice, and Hope Podcast. Hey, we're going to press pause and hear a few words from our other podcasts on Press Play Podcast Network. Hello, Brooks here with the Books with Brooks monthly book club podcast. Here's how Books with Brooks works. We read one book a month, and then we talk about it. Classics like Stephen King's The Shining, debut novels like We Are the Brennans by Tracy Lang, and tons of other compelling, life-changing stories, one book and one month at a time. So come read along with us, and then listen in. This is Dan Jurgens, and if you want to have a good time, keep listening to The Krypton Report.